April 1st is not a traditional holiday, but many of us treat it like one. It's a day to play pranks and to be pranked. But how did April Fool's Day get its name? WFMZ's Jocelyn Mose finds out in the latest edition of her series, Why Do They Call It That? As soon as the calendar turns, it's time to start scheming. I just uh, have a goofy little sense of humor that I will show from time to time. April 1st, most commonly known as April Fool's Day, is a day devoted to foolishness. When I woke up this morning, I said, oh, this is a great April Fool's. Snow coming down on April 1st. Mother Nature isn't the only one playing tricks on us. Over the years, there have been some pretty good pranks. In 1957, those funny guys at the BBC ran a segment on a bumper crop of spaghetti in southern Switzerland. The last two weeks of March are an anxious time for the spaghetti farmer. Another April Fool's folly. In 1996, Taco Bell ran an ad saying the company had bought the Liberty Bell and it would now be called the Taco Liberty Bell. On April 1st, it seems everyone gets in on the fun. But how did April Fool's Day get its name? The most popular theory dates back to the 16th century. France celebrated the New Year just like we do today, except on April 1st. Then in the late 1500s, Pope Gregory XIII ordered a new calendar that called for the new year to begin on January 1st. It seems some didn't get the memo and continued celebrating on April 1st. Story goes everyone else called them April Fools and played tricks on them. No joke. While the day is meant to be harmless and good-natured, be careful. You could have a drawback if it's payback any time of year. You could have a payback, so I'd watch what you do on <laughs> April Fool's Day. So why do they call it April Fool's Day? Now you know. Jocelyn Mose, 69 News. Now you know. And now here is Britney Spears with sports. <laughs> there you go. Well done, well done. Well.